the expectation was unmistakable as the world arranged to observe the debut enactment of the most refined high-energy molecule collider ever developed. For a long time, researchers and enthusiasts had eagerly anticipated this moment, realizing it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, finally brought the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, online in September 2008. After an extensive and meticulous development period, perfecting this wonder of modern science required a few additional years. Yet, it has since become instrumental in deciphering many of the universe's most profound secrets. However, recent developments have created a stir among mainstream scientists. When the LHC was powered up to an unprecedented energy level, it uncovered a surprising and disturbing anomaly. Subsequent investigations have led to a range of hypotheses, but none have been conclusively confirmed. The universe is full of mysteries, and scientists have long devoted their careers to understanding phenomena that evade explanation. These mysteries include the imposing black holes, which have gravitational pulls so strong that not even light can escape, and the infamous Bermuda Triangle, known for the unexplained disappearances of various ships and aircraft. By the mid-20th century, physicists began searching for novel ways to examine the fundamental components of matter. In 1932, physicists John Douglas Cockcroft and Ernest Walton succeeded in creating the first practical atom smasher. These devices have since become key in exploring the minutiae of matter by accelerating particles to extreme speeds and colliding them to study the interactions that follow. These experiments provide crucial insights into the fundamental forces and particles that comprise our universe. CERN's development of the world's largest atom smasher, the LHC, highlights the importance of particle accelerators in unlocking the universe's mysteries. Despite this, a recent unsettling discovery suggests that the LHC may be affecting the very fabric of reality, potentially contributing to the Mandela effect. This phenomenon, characterized by collective false memories, was coined in 2009 by Fiona Broom. She and many others distinctly remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, despite his actual death occurring in 2013. While this effect is often attributed to false memories and the pervasive influence of social media, some scientists hypothesize that the LHC's operations could be a contributing factor. Prominent figures have voiced concerns about the potential dangers posed by the LHC. The late Stephen Hawking warned that the collider could produce black holes capable of threatening our reality. Similarly, Dr. Carlo Rovelli expressed his doubts in a blog post, suggesting that speculative particles created by the LHC could alter matter in unforeseen ways. Influential people like Carl Sagan, Arthur C. Clark, and former President Barack Obama have also raised alarms about the collider's potential to initiate catastrophic events. Given these widespread concerns, it is crucial to consider the potential risks associated with operating the LHC, including whether it could indeed be causing the Mandela effect or other alterations in our universe. The LHC, the most powerful atom smasher on Earth, was constructed between 1998 and 2008 with the collaboration of over 10,000 scientists from more than 100 countries. It officially began operations on September 10, 2008, and is a central component of CERN's accelerator complex. The primary goal of this collider is to test various particle theories, including the properties of the Higgs boson, the search for new particles predicted by supersymmetric theories, and the exploration of unresolved questions in particle physics. The LHC is a 27 kilometers ring consisting of powerful magnets and accelerating structures that drive particles to near light speeds. Inside this accelerator, two beams of energy particles travel in opposite directions through separate low pressure tubes known as beam pipes. These pipes follow a circular path guided by a strong magnetic field created by superconducting electromagnets. These magnets, made from coils of special wire, operate in a superconducting state, allowing electricity to flow without resistance. To maintain this state, the magnets must be cooled to a temperature of minus 271.5 degrees Celsius. At these energy levels, protons achieve a Lorentz factor of around 6,930 moving at speeds incredibly close to the speed of light. The entire cycle, from the linear accelerator LINAC, generating negative hydrogen ions to the final acceleration in the main ring, is a marvel of modern engineering. 
The LHC's primary focus is on proton collisions, but it also dedicates time to heavy ion collisions, primarily using lead ions. These collisions aim to study quark-gluon plasma, a state of matter believed to have existed shortly after the Big Bang, offering unique insights into the fundamental nature of the universe. The LHC's operations consume significant amounts of energy, with the CERN site drawing around 200 megawatts of electrical power, equivalent to one-third of Geneva's energy consumption. One of the most notable achievements of the LHC is the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, a particle crucial for understanding why some particles have mass. Named the God Particle after the title of a 1993 book by Leon Letterman, the Higgs boson has been the subject of extensive research and debate. The Higgs boson is a subatomic particle with no spin, electric charge, or color charge produced by the Higgs field. This field, shaped like a Mexican hat, is an invisible force that imparts mass to particles through the Higgs mechanism. The search for the Higgs boson was a monumental task requiring the analysis of data from trillions of particle collisions to detect its presence. This discovery not only confirmed the predictions of the standard model of particle physics but also opened new avenues for exploring the universe's fundamental properties. Scientists are now investigating the Higgs field's potential connections to the Big Bang and the stability of the vacuum that houses our universe. The properties of the Higgs boson and the top quark are crucial in determining vacuum stability. If the universe resides in an unstable vacuum, it could lead to significant changes in the distant future. Researchers plan to measure the top quark mass using an electron-positron collider to predict the universe's fate accurately. Moreover, the Higgs field is believed to have influenced the universe's early moments, contributing to the rapid expansion of space during the Big Bang. The discrepancy between the current energy levels in space and the much higher levels predicted by theories involving the Higgs field presents a troubling issue known as the cosmological constant problem. This disparity challenges our understanding of the universe's energy dynamics and underscores the importance of continued research in particle physics. Given these extensive concerns, it is crucial to evaluate the potential risks associated with operating the LHC including whether it could be causing the Mandela effect or other modifications in our universe. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, represents a pinnacle in the field of particle physics and high-energy research. Its impact on our understanding of the universe has been profound, but its creation and operation are only a part of a broader scientific and historical context. To appreciate the significance of the LHC, it's essential to delve deeper into the evolution of particle accelerators the quest for fundamental particles, and the theoretical frameworks that guide modern physics. Particle accelerators have a storied history, evolving from early machines like Cockcroft and Walton's Atom Smasher to the sophisticated LHC. The earliest accelerators were relatively simple devices designed to accelerate particles to energy sufficient to probe atomic nuclei. As technology advanced, so did the complexity of these machines. The invention of the cyclotron by Ernest O. Lawrence in 1930 marked a significant leap, allowing particles to be accelerated in a circular path, increasing their energy with each pass. The subsequent development of the synchrotron by Vladimir Vexler and the betatron by Donald Kirst furthered the capabilities of particle accelerators. These innovations paved the way for colliders, where particles could be accelerated to high energies and then made to collide, enabling the study of interactions at even smaller scales. The evolution from these early devices to the LHC represents a continuous drive to explore and understand the fundamental building blocks of matter point. One of the key milestones in the development of the LHC was the discovery of the W and Z bosons in the 1980s at CERN's predecessor, the superproton synchrotron SPS. These particles, which mediate the weak nuclear force, were the first experimental confirmation of the electroweak theory proposed by Sheldon Glashow, Abdus Salam, and Steven Weinberg. The discovery of the W and Z bosons was a critical test of the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles and their interactions. The standard model, though incredibly successful, is not a complete theory of the universe. It describes three of the four fundamental forces, electromagnetic, weak, and strong, leaving out gravity. It also does not account for dark matter or dark energy which are believed to make up a substantial portion of the universe's mass-energy content. The quest to address these gaps has driven much of the research at the LHC. Beyond the Higgs boson, 
the LHC has been instrumental in exploring physics beyond the standard model. One area of intense research is supersymmetry, SUSY, a theoretical framework that extends the standard model by introducing a new set of particles called supersymmetric particles. Supersymmetry aims to resolve several theoretical issues, such as the hierarchy problem, which concerns the vast difference in strength between the gravitational and weak forces. Another area of investigation is string theory, which posits that fundamental particles are not point-like but rather one-dimensional strings vibrating at different frequencies. String theory attempts to unify all fundamental forces, including gravity, into a single theoretical framework. Although string theory remains largely theoretical, it provides a rich field of study and potential insights into the structure of spacetime. The study of heavy ion collisions at the LHC has provided valuable insights into the state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, QGP. This state, which existed just moments after the Big Bang, is characterized by the deconfined state of quarks and gluons, which are normally confined within protons and neutrons. By recreating conditions similar to those in the early universe, scientists hope to understand the fundamental properties of QGP and its role in the evolution of the cosmos. In addition to particle physics, the LHC's findings have implications for cosmology and astrophysics. For example, the discovery of the Higgs boson has implications for our understanding of the universe's early moments and the nature of cosmic inflation. The Higgs field is thought to have played a crucial role in the rapid expansion of the universe immediately after the Big Bang, a phenomenon known as cosmic inflation. Understanding the properties of the Higgs field and its interactions may provide insights into the conditions that prevailed during the universe's infancy. The LHC's experiments also contribute to our knowledge of neutrinos, which are elusive particles that interact only via the weak force and gravity. Neutrinos are crucial to understanding various astrophysical processes, such as supernovae and the formation of neutron stars. The LHC's precision measurements of neutrino properties may help clarify their role in the universe and address outstanding questions about their mass and mixing properties. Moreover, the LHC's impact extends beyond theoretical physics. The technology developed for the collider has spurred innovations in various fields. For instance, the World Wide Web was initially developed at CERN to facilitate data sharing among scientists working on the LHC experiments. Advances in computing, data storage, and analysis techniques driven by LHC research have broad applications in industry and technology. Despite the LHC's successes, it has faced challenges and controversies. The initial startup of the LHC in 2008 was marred by a catastrophic incident. A fault in one of the magnet connections caused a helium leak, leading to a major shutdown and extensive repairs. This incident delayed the collider's scientific program by over a year. However, once operational, the LHC has consistently delivered valuable data and groundbreaking discoveries. The LHC's research is not without its critics and skeptics. Some concerns revolve around the potential risks associated with high-energy collisions. While the likelihood of producing dangerous phenomena, such as miniature black holes or strangelets, hypothetical particles that could potentially convert normal matter into strange matter, is extremely low, such scenarios have fueled public and scientific debate. Extensive safety reviews and analyses have concluded that the LHC operates within safe limits, and the risks are well understood and mitigated. The future of the LHC and particle physics research involves exploring new frontiers and addressing unresolved questions. Planned upgrades to the LHC, such as the High Luminosity LHC, HLLHC, aim to increase its collision rates and improve precision measurements. These upgrades will enable researchers to probe even deeper into the mysteries of the universe and search for rare processes that could reveal new physics beyond the standard model. In summary, the Large Hadron Collider is a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. Its construction, operation, and discoveries represent a collective effort to unravel the fundamental nature of the universe. While the LHC has made significant strides in understanding particle physics, it is just one part of a broader scientific endeavor that includes theoretical work, technological development, and collaborative research. As we continue to explore the universe's most profound questions, the LHC will remain a central hub of discovery and innovation, driving our quest for knowledge and expanding the boundaries of human understanding.